Hi guys, welcome to my workshop. My name is Jonathan Stolzfus, and today I'm going to be walking you through how to build a set of wooden shed doors. Okay guys, the first step to building a set of wooden shed doors is to measure the opening of your shed. Now I took the doors off of this shed, and I also took the trim that was around the doors off and the trim that was on the inside of the jams off. Now to build your doors you'll need two measurements. You'll need the width and the height of the opening. Now it's not uncommon in old sheds that you'll have a little bit of difference between measurements on one side of the opening to the other. So we always go with the shortest measurement. I'll measure from the floor to the top of the opening. I have 76 and an eighth. 76 and 76 and an eighth. So we'll go with 76 inches for the height of our opening. On the top here, I have 74 and a half, 74 and a half. And 74 and eighth. So we'll go with we'll go with 74 inches for our opening width. Now the other thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to check your opening for square. If your opening is not square, then when you mount your doors, you're going to have to adjust your trim side to side a little bit so that your doors close perfectly level. To check your opening for square. You'll measure from the bottom corner up to the opposite top corner. There I have 106 and an 8. And then I'll measure the other way. Sometimes it helps if you get a friend to help you do this. And there I have 106 and 3 8. So I have about a, a quarter inch difference between the two sides. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to remember when I mount my trim, I'm going to keep this side over just a little bit. And then when I go to mount my doors, I'll adjust them accordingly as I need to. All right, now that we have the measurements for our door opening, let's talk about the material that we will use to build our doors. We will use two by threes for the inside of the frame on the door. We will use LP Smart Side for the door panel and we will use LP Trim for the exterior trim. We will now need to do some simple math to figure out the measurements that we will use to build the doors. This opening is 74 inches wide by 76 inches high. To get our door panel height, we will add one inch to the opening height, giving us 77 inches. To get the width of each door panel, we will first subtract a half inch from the width of the opening and divide by two, giving us 36 and three quarter inches. We will then add three quarters of an inch for the left door and subtract three quarters of an inch for the right door. That gives us 37 and a half inches wide for our left door panel and 36 inches wide for our right door panel. Now we are ready to get our two by three framing measurements. We will need four upright 2x3s and three horizontal 2x3s per door. To get the measurements for the uprights, we will take our opening height of 74 inches and subtract an inch and a quarter, giving us 74 and 3 quarter inches. To find the horizontal 2x3 measurements for each door, we will simply subtract 4 inches from the width of our panels. So for our doors, we will cut three 2x3s at 33 and a half inches for the left door and three at 32 inches for the right door. Now onto the door trim. We will start by cutting four pieces at the height of our door panels, which is 77 inches. To get the measurements for the horizontal trim, we will once again start with our opening width, subtract half an inch and divide by two, 36 and three quarter inches. We will then subtract the combined width of the two pieces of trim, which in this case is five and a quarter inches, giving us a length of 31 and a half inches for the six pieces of horizontal trim on the doors. To get the mounting trim measurements, we will add four inches to the opening height for the two side trim pieces, 80 inches. 
And in our case, because we are using two and a half inch wide trim, we will add seven inches to the opening width to get the measurements for the top trim piece. We will add a 12 degree bevel on each end of this piece to give it a decorative touch. Now all that's left is a jam trim. We will use three quarter inch rips for this and we'll cut two pieces at our opening height and one piece at our opening width, minus the combined thickness of the other two pieces of jam trim. Okay, now that our calculations are done, we're ready to get started cutting down our material. We will use our table saw and our chop saw for this. Okay, cutting is done. As you can see, we have our door panels cut out. We have our, our framing. We have our trim for the outside of the door. We have the perimeter trim, and we have the jam trim. The next step is to clear the workspace, and we will begin putting the frame together. Okay, so I just pre-drilled the holes on the ends of the long 2x3s, that way they don't split. Um, I am now going to start by assembling the, the left door frame. The mark here in the middle of this 2x3 is the exact center uh, of your door. All right, time to assemble the right door. Okay, we are ready to put the panels on the frames. For this I will be using an air nailer. You want to start nailing the panel on the top of the door. Um, if you picture the door, this is, uh, this is the top right corner of the door. This is the side of the door where the latch goes. And I will start by nailing up on the top right corner. I will measure 7 eighths of an inch up and 7, eight, and seven eighths of an inch out. Put one nail in. Measure 7 eighths of an inch here on the end. put a line of nails across the top. I'll then come down to the bottom corner and make sure it's 7 eighths of an inch down here as well. Come over to the middle, same thing. And I put nails about every 8 to 10 inches. And I can continue nailing the rest of the panel from here. Okay, we got the panel on the right door. I'm going to put the hook on the door and take it over to the paint booth. Okay. 
So putting the panel on the left door is the same as putting the panel on the right door, except that we'll start on the top left corner this time. We'll use our same 7 eighths of an inch me measurement on the top and on the side. Okay, we are ready to put the trim on the doors. The two long pieces will go along the sides and the short pieces will go just like this. Since this is the right door, we're going to start with mounting the trim on the top right corner. We'll mount this piece of trim flush along this side. The top trim will be flush along the top. This one will also be flush on the top. Bottom piece will be flush along the bottom. And then flush with the bottom of the face trim here. Make sure your nails are nailing into the 2x3. Now we will get our tape measure and center the middle piece of trim on the door. The right door will be where we have the latch, so we will pre-drill the, the hole for the latch right away. I use a half inch drill bit for this. Measure in inch and three quarter. And check to make sure your drill will not hit the fasteners on your two by three. You wanna keep your hole as centered as possible with your middle trim piece here. Okay, I'm ready to mount the hardware on this door. So I'm just gonna go over a little bit, um, real quick, what hardware we're using. We're gonna use six of these six inch hinges, three per door. Uh, this is my keyed latch that I'm gonna be using. That's the outside. This is the inside part. I have some door bumpers that I'll mount on the hinges on each side. Um, I have some two and a half inch black hinge screws, and then I also have some one and a half inch shorter black screws that I'll use for things like uh, the snap bolts on the left door on the inside, um, the door straighteners 
Um, I'll use those to fasten the door straighteners. And I'll also use these screws uh, for some of my slamming trim. I have to angle my screws a bit on the end so that my screw hits the 2x3. The most important part about mounting the hinges is to make sure that your screws are going into your framing. These are the door straighteners. Uh, they just simply screw together like this. Their purpose is to uh, keep your door from warping. And they also have this handy dandy adjustable um, screw thing here in the middle where you can just adjust that after the door is installed if your door isn't closing quite tight. So this is the left door. So once again, we'll start on the left side of the door on the top to install the trim. Flush on the top and flush on the sides. These latches mount flush with the edge of your door frame. These latches are for fastening your left door. Uh, one goes up into the frame of the door opening and the other down to the floor.
Okay, the doors are ready to install in the shed. Okay, we're ready to mount our door. I'm going to start with the slamming trim. This trim, we just keep flush with the two by three framing or whatever size framing you have in your shed. Um, keep it flush or just a hair back from the edge of the two by three. I usually put my screws in first on this top piece. That way it's easier to mount. Okay, we are ready to mount the outer trim uh, that the doors actually mount to. This trim will be mounted flush on the edge of our opening, um, at least on the bottom. In this case, uh, because the door is off square, we're going to keep the, the top in a little bit to account for that off square door. So here I'm keeping the face trim over about 3 8 of an inch, farther than what we would have to to account for the off square of the door. And then I'm also keeping the trim on the top flush with the edge of my siding. If I have to adjust that later, I will. On the bottom, we'll keep it flush with the edge of the opening. So I'll do two screws per piece of trim here, and then I'll mount the doors just to see if they fit correctly. I'm going to check the top of the opening here. I need 74 inches between my mounting trim and that's exactly what I have. Same way at the bottom here. I'm gonna need an opening from trim to trim of 74 inches. Now before I go any farther, I'm gonna check the trim opening for square because this is actually what counts when I mount my door. I have one ten and a quarter. And one ten and about a half. So I still have a little ways to go to get it square. So what I'll do is I'll just adjust this over a little bit. I'll recheck to make sure I still have 74 inches. And that's correct. And on the bottom here, I'm going to also move the trim that way. Just a little bit. See if I can get this opening square. And I'll recheck, make sure I'm at 74 inches. Very close. And I'll recheck my opening for square. 100 and about 3 eighths.
All right, there we go. The opening is square. I'm ready to mount the doors. The trick here is to grab the door with one hand, grab your screw gun with the other, lift the door up about a quarter of an inch, and drive your first screw in. Alright, so that's all you need to do for now until you mount your other door. Same way here, we'll just move it up about a quarter of an inch and drive the top screw in. Okay, so we're going to check the middle of the doors here to see if they line up. So it looks to me like the left door is just a little bit higher than the other one. So I'm just going to back the screw out just a little bit. And that makes the door go down just a hair, just enough to give us perfection. Now I can finish screwing the door into the trim. This is how you mount the shed bumpers to the hinges. Now when the door opens, it won't be able to open all the way against the shed, it'll be stopped by the rubber. Now we'll center the top piece over the doors. As you can see, we added this fancy little bevel on the end. It's not necessary, but it looks good. Okay, the exterior is done, except for some touch-up paint. We're gonna now go inside and we'll drill the holes for the spring latches that mount into the floor and into the top header that uh, hold the left door in place. Okay, so in this situation, I'm gonna need to mount a small mounting block on the inside because the header is not thick enough. Uh, I need something for my latch to fasten into, so I'm just going to go ahead and screw it in. Okay, so you just close the door against the jams and mark wherever the snap latch contacts the wood. Do that on the top and also on the bottom. That one's good.
Let's see if the uh, outside latch is set right. This particular latch is adjustable with an Allen key, so if we need to, we can adjust it. As it is, it's closing quite nicely. Um, this one does come with a key. That is also an added benefit. One more thing we can do is go inside and just hand snug the straightening hardware. Over time, wood doors tend to warp. So in this case, if uh, in a couple years you see that the door isn't closing on the bottom, all you would need to do is tighten this piece of hardware. Uh, the same way with the top, if it's not closing, if it's out, of, out on the top, uh, all we need to do is just adjust the hardware uh, to bring it back in line. The only thing that's left on these doors is to do touch up. All right, I'm just going around touching up the nails. Any scratches anywhere. Okay guys, that's it. It's all done. That is how you build and install your own set of wooden shed doors. If you have questions or you would like to reach out to us, uh, feel free to go to our website, shedrepair.net. If you would like a, a quote um, for an installation of the door, if we're in your area, we'll be happy to do that for you. Once again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.